Let's talk health. Are children spending too much time indoors? My own view is yes. I think that. Uh, what 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 qualifies as indoors though? I mean, well, four, four walls and a ceiling. If a child spent all his time in, say, a, a gazebo, would he still be prone to obesity? I, I mean, it's, it's always very dangerous to say. You know, when I was young, we did it this way. But I just think that probably um, 20 years ago, maybe people had a much more outdoor lifestyle than today. You think less time in a house and perhaps more time in a dense forest or, or say, a cave? No, I don't think <laughs> quite that, Mike. But I think that. You know, the thing is, the, the pastimes you used to see kids indulging in kicking a football around the park, biking on their bikes around the streets, I think there's a whole lot of reasons why this isn't quite as um, common as it used to be. I think part of it's a perception that perhaps children aren't as safe in the wider community anymore. Hey, uh, on that note, the drug culture uh, has changed dramatically since we were young, hasn't it? I mean, back in the 60s, a big night for you or me would have been a few Twizzlers and a box of iguanas. <laughs> I mean, how can we keep up with the drug tastes of the youth mouth? Well, it's, it's, I think that's the challenge. I don't think we can because, it, the, the, as you say, the thing is becoming so sophisticated. Uh, products are changing all of the time. The very best we can hope to do is be somewhere there or thereabouts. And you, know, you take the whole debacle we've had recently over chronic. Um, people were saying to me, just ban the stuff, just get it out. Well, you can't ban the stuff because it suddenly reappears as something else. So we had to put in place a mechanism that enables us to act quickly when circumstances like this arise. But you'll never stop it, uh, but you've got to be able to manage it. What do you think about this girl in China who was born without a face? I haven't heard of that, that, that story, but the, it sounds pretty awful. But it does raise questions, I would have thought, about just you know the, the way in which we might be... Uh, influenced by environmental factors these days, what sorts of toxins and poisons are out there that are affecting people's uh, you know, reproductive... Well, the, 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 the medical world is amazing, isn't it? I was reading that Russia has recently cloned a human neck well, uh, that, that can live independently from the body and has even shown basic cognition skills. Yeah, I mean, I how, how the, far behind is New Zealand in terms well, of these that's advances? That's the next whole area of, of, of medical advance, you know, with, 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 with cloning, with uh, stem cell research, just what we can actually do, what we're going to be able to identify... Um, you know, the work that's going on now, for instance, we in the, in the United States, which says we are apparently not too far away from some sort of medical solution, um, a pharmaceutical solution, to Alzheimer's conditions. So you just think about the number of elderly people and not so elderly people who are affected by that. If you've got a better way of dealing with it, it's a huge improvement in quality of life. John Key has recently and controversially referred to the members of his cabinet as his wretched puppets. Uh, do you want to comment on that? <laughs> Oh, look, I think he has an ability to say things that perhaps other people mightn't say but might may think. Um, look, he works well with his team of ministers. I think he's got a, a good bunch around him. And uh, uh, every now and then you, you get a clear sense that the Prime Minister doesn't like what one's doing and he tells you so and that's fine, you move on. But uh, he's a good guy to work with. He's a real team leader. What do you think about Anne Tolley's suggestion that rugby be made a compulsory school subject? I don't think that's a very serious suggestion. I just don't think that... Uh, you know, I think that the idea of people having sporting activity is a good one, but I wouldn't want to see rugby or any other sport made compulsory for that reason. Is this pony trafficking scandal anything to write home about? Um, no, I don't think so. I'm not sure precisely of the detail of it, but I don't think it's a serious issue. Hospitals, yes or no? Hospitals? Yes. Why? Why? Because even with the best prevention in the world, we're always going to need... Um, serious centres to deal with people who require major acute surgery or repairs and maintenance like uh, new hips, new knees, all of those sorts of things. So I think while we, we need to be making a much greater emphasis to make sure that people's health conditions are dealt with long before they end up in hospital, that's not going to mean an end to hospitals. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks, Mike. Very good to talk to you.